Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story, Lotus in the other mad. Hi Lotus, this is our major spiffing. Level 22, boxes mad, and kids, if I get this 13, and don't run here to guy. Hmm. I think the simulation is not fully functional. Hi! Well done, well done! You certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last task I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. How do I know you're being honest with me? I think you'll find that I've been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the Pint-Sized Slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Why are you doing all of this? Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. But you could leave the vault, find somewhere else to live. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years. My body is in no condition to be used for anything. And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No. No, I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you, you will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits. Duck? Good ducky. <laughs> hey. Don't you have a few things you should be collecting? Get the knife and the mask from the dark. I don't really want them. How do you use the gnome? <sighs> Fine then. What sort of a... Is this? Oh. It appears that people are afraid. Oh, I never talked to you. Oops. Run! Hello. It's the pipe by slasher. Indeed, the kiss. I thought I. Off with your head, please. Please, off, off your head, please. Yes. Um. Oh. That's just a. It's the lack of color. I thought her leg was somehow in a very weird position, but it wasn't even her leg. In reality. Oh well. Got me by surprise then. <gasps> Do I get to kill Timmy? Sorry, Dad. <laughs> well, that's that. Can I throw the knife? No. Hi, no, Janet. No! Please leave me alone! Are you Janet? I think you're Janet. Are you Simpson? No, I think you're Janet. No! No! Please leave me alone! Ah! I can't hit ya. Get back here. Run! It's the pint-sized 
guess it was nothing. Hi. Did she go upstairs? Ah! Yes, no. she did. Alright. Yes, yes, I'm losing calm, I know that. Doesn't really matter. I like to keep my neutrality, thank you very much. And if the good deeds I will be doing in the future. <laughs> yeah. no. Hi, Simpson. Uh, sorry for stealing your underwear, by the way. That was kind of rude. Kind of creepy for a kid, right? Yeah. Sorry. There are no issues with stabbing people, though. That's that's just you know standard affair. Oh God! Help! Help! All right, Janet was stay. Wait, what? Run! Ah! But I killed you, Mabel. I saw you. You were. What? She was right here. She was dead. You saw it too, right, Mr. Andy? The That's probably not counted as a resident, but hey, we also killed Mr. Handy. Did his residence? I don't think I had Run. any contact with you. Oh, oh, I did have contact with you. Yeah. Well. A stun is done. I bet there would have been a different option, but uh, most enjoyable, most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Now let me out. Yes, yes. I suppose you've earned the right to do as you like. I shall miss your company. This has been a simply wonderful time. The door is now open. Through it, you may return to the real world, and whatever inferior existence you have there. Can I also get my dad out? This still won't work. Hello. Come on, Papa. Get that kid. Follow me. Sure, you can leave with me, right? Right? Yes! Oh, it was just taking time to get out. That's Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I came here to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. I think I showed up to save you. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. So you're going back to Rivet City right now? Yes. What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Okay. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Uh, what exactly is this Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. 
Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you yeah. were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I like your big boy, Dad. Uh, how did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Uh, what's the big deal about water anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Can I just talk for a minute? Of course, son. What's on your mind? Uh. How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Why would you put yourself at risk like this? You have some sort of deathfish? What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. What about helping your own son? I can understand that you're angry. You have a right to be. Perhaps the choice I made wasn't the right one. At the time, I thought I was doing what was best for you. All right, I'm glad you talked. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. Okay. Uh. Wait. Yeah, let's go. Be careful, my son. I thought we'd be, be together, but you know, whichever. Ah, leveling up. The old, old thing on my cheek, where I don't remember what I had in mind. Oh well. Repair and science are enough of my points right now. Small guns, energy weapons, big guns, melee weapons. Let's get those to nice and pretty 50. With energy weapons at 60. And explosives to 35. That looks nice. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Continue. And the perk now, eh? Oh, well, I can grab another point of intense training, I guess. And use it for agility. Yay. Alright, Dad. Let's go.
Uh, Dad, would you like a steam pack? You seem kinda hurt. Hello, wait, 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 wait for me. Also, let me get dressed. I need my biker goggles. He's in real hurry, isn't he? He sure is. Well, I'm not gonna leave him. Leave him. Going to Red City together. Dad. Even when you're sprinting like a madman. There is no actual sprint button, so it doesn't really make any difference. Where are you? Oh, so we run? I was kinda thinking quick travel. Just don't get lost. Well, I'm not sure if father is already inside, or if we still have to wait for him. Where are you, dad? Oh. I don't think my father is here yet. He seems to be in the middle of the bloody wasteland. Well, alright then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout 3. There's no reason to be nervous. You're not at the right, right lab yet. Oh. You're still on the ship. You're still right? on the ship. Ship!